Welcome back to say a uh, spotlight. Bro, you're gonna make me laugh. We are Jake and Matt. The when you put the body for the ball. Fucking hell! Go look at Inter. Very lucky. Very very lucky. Hello and welcome back to Say A Spotlight, we're your host Jake and Matt and today we've got a special guest with us known by, known as Sandmax24 Process, process, thank you very much guys No problem, thank you for coming, this is Max Vassallo, he has amassed 300,000 followers on TikTok for a wide range of content from console wars where you yeah. poked fun of the Xbox community, yeah. coining the catchphrase here to <laughs> impressive raps, uh, this is where I first got to know about your interest in Milan as you included Zlatan in one of your yeah, raps. Uh, the legend. Do you know that rap by heart is the first question I have for you. Uh, Ibra. Zebra, Ibra and a zebra. Ibra and a zebra followed by a hungry cheetah. Yes, I can't do it. <laughs> I, can, I can't get it. It's every, pop, huh? If you can notice, it's really deep lyrics, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's what we're fun. all about. Exactly. Um, and I also heard you talking about Zlatan on another podcast. Could it be the Grow Up podcast? You spoke about you Zlatan as an example for something. Yeah, really, it is. I think very so. possible. You know, Zlatan, I like him. He's one of my, I, if I had to choose a football personality, dead or alive, who I want mm. to like, meet for a drink and talk with him, it will be mm. fucking Zlatan. Don't I mean, you think it'd be a bit of legend. a pain in the ass and must? Yeah, well, it'll... it will be legendary. <laughs> He'll be showboating from A to Z, and mm. with every with every showboat, he just laughs at you and cuckles at you. Exactly. Ah, I'm just taking the piss, <laughs> but, but I'm, I'm being serious at the same time. As a, he's amazing. Just, in uh, your opinion, is it an act or is there some a bit of both? Uh, yeah. A bit of both. He, he, he believes his he believes his he's amazing. Mm. Ash, I believe at that level of football, you have to yeah. believe in yourself. Yeah, actually, you're fucking not gonna get anywhere, be it anything. Time, I mean, it's uh-huh. good. Mm. Matt is a bit of an actor. He's, yeah. I, I think he's a cool guy. I think he'll be a good guy, and it's 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 all the the whole bravado persona. It's fun. If I would be, I think I'd, I'd do the same. If I had to be a good football, mm. I'd be at that level. Like mm. I stay constantly showing off with everyone, and then who really know me will say, ah, he's a cool guy." Ah, exactly. Okay. But and then everyone will think you're a fucking dickhead. Exactly. <laughs> I think it's a waste, like Messi being as good as he is, but there's zero fucking personality, there's no sauce, to him. no no sauce at all. Zero. Like, See, was lad and King go and stays kicking Cassano. Going on Sanremo mid-season, leaving the team behind. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was mad. You remember? He had, gotten, he had gotten a lift on a motorbike with someone random. Of course, with a random I, fan. Imagine being the guy on the fucking motorbike, man. Actually, from Balotelli, it's the same. I mean, you know, as in Collo, as in, I'm sorry, as in I speak in Maltese. Uh, That's fine. Because you guys, you know, you're the foreigner. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, my roots tend to kick in. <laughs> It's it's all an act because then he does lots of cool stuff like he goes and he donates shit to to school mm, and all mm-hmm. this kind of thing. I mean, if you're if you're a, a narcissistic piece of shit, which is what they essentially tend, tend <laughs> to pro- portray themselves to be, uh, you don't do this stuff. I mean, like mm-hmm. Zlatan, like he tattooed a bunch Mela. of kids' names on his back. Yeah, at Lemnally, yeah. I, I think that was tragedy uh, uh, or or It wasn't exactly. permanent though, but for the celebration, uh, like he, he uh, had it's them cool. all. It's I mean, nice. I mean, yeah. why, why, why the fuck not? You know, it's 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 a nice, a nice, nice gesture at the end of the day. So mm-hmm. if you're a narcissist and you're a cunt, you won't do this stuff. Exactly, it's true. Uh, it's true. Unless you care about public perception and you want to deceive them. Yeah, it might be. Mm, it maybe really they're still, way still. ahead. They're playing 4D chess, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 but then uh, there's also like think of WWE. You, what's the best yeah, way to yeah. get fans? Think of Conor McGregor. Think of all these guys. That Can you like, imagine? So Zlatan has this role right now, no, with Milan, where he's basically what the uh, fuck's he doing? He's, uh, he's a director <laughs> of some sort. Um, basically, he's involved in calling the shots. But also, like if, if Milan are after a player, he might be called by Zlatan. So can you imagine your phone rings and it's Zlatan? So he technically took Maldini's role. Exactly. 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 To a degree. To but a it's degree. not the full-out no. sporting director. No, 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 no. no. The sporting director is... Uh, don't, it's, don't, it's don't escaping me right now. <laughs> don't do this to me. Put no, me on the spot. Zlatan, <laughs> like, no fucking idea. No, but Zlatan's got more of a kind of uh, an honorary role mm. kind of thing. Mm. Uh-huh. If um, Pioli was like, how am I going to keep this guy in the team? Considering mm. whenever he's in the team, everyone's fucking highly motivated. Like, so, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I would died off that fucking motivation. So mm. I don't know. Um, 
if you you having Zlatan in the locker room shouting at you, I would believe is a bit is a bigger motivation mm. than him being on the stands and just clapping. Yes. Uh, so in the, uh, and right now, speaking about Milan, I don't know who is that leader. Hmm. That's a bit of a crisis that's going on right now because if you look yeah, at you the feel, experienced yeah? players mm. on the team right now, you've got Giroud, you've got Kier, and then the rest are kind of like they've got experience with Milan, but they're not. In their 30s, you mm. know, they're young, so they're still 25. They're not fucking legends, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're no legends. No. I mean, we're lucky, we're lucky Zlatan came back mm-hmm. because there was the Dark Ages, as you so mentioned yeah. to me, which was there was literally nothing going on, <laughs> zero. But then, when, when Zlatan came back, he said, started, started, started picking up. I mean, mm-hmm. so he made, made a massive difference. Aha, uh-huh. yeah. I think the season after we won the league, absolutely. Yes, the, the, yes. the, the yeah. following season because he we won came the in, he came in after the 5 0 trashing against, against Atalanta, Atalanta. and Shkabando. he changed the mentality uh, pretty much immediately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, man, Zlatan is incredible, and it's crazy that we got, I, I personally got to see him doing this when I was young in 2011. Mm-hmm. No winning meal on the league. It was like we had an alien up front. It was like yeah. you could give him the ball anywhere, in any way possible, and he'll score. Like Insane. And then yeah. now, at, at the age of 28, he came back to Milan and he won them another league, the first league since then. So, so for me, it's a lot on. Just to say, you're 29. No, it's a lot on. I thought you were just removing the years. Oh, yeah. Um, we spoke about Balotelli briefly. Um, I want to ask you about what the hell do you think is going on in his head, this guy, man. He's he's had this whole fascination with fireworks, man. And recently in Turkey, a, a video emerged of him in the dressing room with the team, throwing a firework in the middle of the changing room. It pops like all his teammates. Like, what the fuck? And they all look at him, they're like, Mario. And he's like... Uh, and he's like, he, had, he had shot that out outside his balcony window. Yeah, yeah, bro. He, he set yes. his house on fire. Listen, people like to masturbate daily. He likes to fuck exactly. with fire. Fucking, with fucking right. Can we talk like this? On your yes, absolutely, bro. Uh, Abs- uh, uh, absolutely. We we love wanking here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a problem at all. That's why you side with me, <laughs> like, you get no, You get no, no pleasure out of yeah, that. No, so, no. Long, long term, no. So you need that instant gratification. Like nothing yeah. beats a morning wank as a, yeah. as a Milan fan. Like yeah, Inter, yeah. Inter are taking the, the second Inter, star this yeah. season. Um, Juve have fucking three stars. Who do you hate more out of Inter and Juve? Mm. Oh, it's really difficult, Tostia. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really difficult. I fucking hate uh, Atalanta as well, uh, by the way. During they're, the... They're up there, like... When, when Juve had won nine in a row, there was no team I hated more. Hey, but now, it's almost like I hate who's stronger. Mm-hmm. I have problems. Because it's it's like you're asking me to choose between a bucket of shit and a, mm. and a bucket of, of, of shit. <laughs> so it's a, it's a bit of a hassle. Just because, essentially, they both have really shitty fans, I yes. believe. Yes. And, and they, at least, at least, I, I'm in a, I'm in a, a chat group with with Interisti, mm. and I hate my life. <laughs> and, and be it, they can be losing and they can be getting. But the second they have one win, it's 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 all you know. They're yeah, they're yeah. leaders. They're the, but I would believe I I would I think Juventus take a bit the lead. Mm. I see Juventus as the Man United of Italy. Mm. Exactly, exactly. And that. and 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 Inter, I see them as these to the Liverpool. Mm. You know, as in everyone fucking hates Man United and, uh-huh. and and Juve, and not many people like Liverpool neither. But mm. but it's, it's Milan, true. Milan are liked by everyone. I mean, it's true. They're overall the general consensus is like we don't hate you guys. Mm. By, by it's general. true, especially overseas. Overseas, Milan are respected. It's true. Like, yeah, uh-huh. it's, true. Time. it's the the rich European history, I think, about Milan. That's what kind of draws people yeah, towards fans, them. We're not cunts. Ah, exa- yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That that exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That, that that really helps. So. Oh, the best fans in Italy, huh? The best fans in Milan. Italy. Milan, absolutely. Abs- absolutely. absolutely. You didn't see when we played against Chelsea um, last season. Chelsea were on a downfall with Graham Potter. Um, they're beating us 3-0. We're in London and all you can hear is the fucking Curva Sud. Yeah, yeah, jumping. The fucking 75th the yeah, minute yeah. we're losing 3-0 and the Curva Sud are going mental, bro. That, that, that's, what, that's what I love Absolutely. about Milan. Uh, when it comes to fans and but there are the lots of fuck the racism mm, and all no, this rubbish. No, they're amazing. Fuck the, 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 the that's crazy. Yeah, mm. uh, la de Mandro. Actually, my, my brother, my, my brother went to see the derby. His, there were like three stabbings on the day. So. 
Oh, yeah, there's lots of heaviness. That's the one that comes to fans. Uh, yes, and then they have that stupid racism rubbish. I'm a big ah, fan oh, of like gosh. the Salernitana fandom and the Cagliari fans. Ah. You know, that, that thing. Have, have you like looked into the whole Salernitana fandom? Like the. the those dog dogs, Sardinia, or am I told um, Sa- They're Salerno. I'm a Salerno. 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 Salernitana. And then Cagliari are Sardinia. Exactly. Cagliari are Sardinia. So yes, they're hardcore. Well, I didn't fans. look. Are they that hardcore? hardcore. The, the Salernitana ones, especially. The when best, they got promoted. Bro. They just went out and trashed everything. Like every <laughs> restaurant in the street, they're just smashing the chairs. They went insane. That yeah, yeah. They're yeah. crazy, bro. And they have some really good songs as well, man. Yeah. Like if you watch a video of their curva, you get goosebumps, man. They, they yeah. are top tier. We and were going to go watch well. them this year. We were supposed to watch them two weeks ago. Um, but then we cancelled because we're like they're essentially relegated so as uh-huh. we're gonna go watch them against Lecce um, and Lecce beat them 1-0 thank god we didn't go and now next week instead we're gonna go watch Cagliari yeah. Cagliari oh, against Atalanta yes. and we're gonna be with the Sardinia I, I think we should bro why not yes nah, no, behind the goalpost fuck that. Yes. So that. Shit shit face. That. our shirt we have Cagliari kits right our shirts are gonna last I think five minutes on like yeah. <laughs> instantly on just fucking rain. I, I love the the Sampdoria Genoa Genoa oh, yeah. thing going Lantern- on. La Lanterna La Lanterna it's yeah. beautiful when Sampdoria yeah. got relegated they like had that yeah, whole yeah. fucking funeral yeah. for them yeah. <laughs> A procession around dressed in black, that's <laughs> proper <laughs> banter, man. That was amazing. This is what attracts me to Italian football. Well, this, you know. this, of course, of course. Cheers, the whole guys. Italian football feels very authentic when it comes to the top five leagues. I would say that it feels. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no problem. <laughs> You're gonna have to do it, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah um, everything is budget in here so yeah, far, Max. It's, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's really um, uh-huh. When it comes to the top five leagues, I feel like the Italian league is one of the most authentic when it comes to these small teams having so much character and the big teams maintaining this this fandom, the, the fact that the fans are are so passionate and pure, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, There's never a quiet moment in an Italian stadium. Uh-huh. Agreed, agreed. But you know, I work with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a gaming company and we're primarily German, so I get to watch lots of Bundesliga. Mm. They're fucking top, uh, bro. Passion uh, the, the Germans. Bundesliga, the I Bundesliga, think they have, the, they, they have the cheapest ticket prices out of the top five leagues in Germany. They're insane, they're insane. The Bundesliga is insane. Mm. But Italy is too, Italy is good. Uh, uh, to games, I, still, I haven't been enough. I haven't been enough. Mm. I've, seen, I've seen Milan once, and that's pretty much it. Once again, too. Against you, when when, uh, when the one the air the air when when Mun, there was the fucking Montari scandal. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my the ball, god. When the ball crossed the line, I, when, when I, I saw the, I saw the first I saw the first the first leg of Milan Juve when we lost two one. Ibra scored, and then they had a, a, a rubbish goal by Tres again. Del Piero, it was fucking. Mm. What a game! No, it was good, and, and, and the beginning first 20 minutes, I mean, right, right on the bat, I remember a corner, a header, from Ibra that hit the post, and the post, oh, yeah. no, I was going crazy, like, oh my God, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing, there's nothing like it, man, it's being amazing. at the Sun Zero. Huh? We had gone, so when Matthew was young, he was deeply enamored by Real Madrid. He was yes. a big Real Madrid guy, like. <sighs> and we had gone to watch Which Milan one? against Real Madrid. Which one? Not San the one Zero, 2-2. When when Pato Pato is Zlatan and Zaghi, Pato and it, no no but Pato pulled up injured was ah it? yes yes Pato yes, pulled yes. up injured and Zaghi came on and everyone around us was groaning because Zlatan oh because Zaghi at the time was like thirty eight years old mm. yeah and everyone was saying basically like we're bringing this guy on we're done we're not gonna manage to do anything against yeah, yeah. Real Madrid with Cristiano Ronaldo he Benzema, rounded Iker Casillas and scored and then he scored again right after two goals man ah, like everyone, oh yo yo oh yo 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 it yo. was crazy it was man it was crazy. Crazy. And then they scored at the end. Um, uh, Real Madrid. That's forgot. Was who. Um, he he wasn't there for a long time. But Pedro Leon. Pedro, Pedro, Leon. Pedro Leon. And do you remember he had posed for this a photo one, with this, me in, ah, yes. mm-hmm. in this game that that the, the guy with the dreads had scored as well. Drente, uh, Royce Drent. and Drente. Drent. Drent. Not not no. in that game. Not in that game. I remember. Um, I think Ronaldo had gotten the first goal. Could be. And then after that, it was... I remember Ramos. Uh, Ramos for some reason, bro. I don't I know if it's... Ramos, we had gone to watch Real once, bro. And we beat... We, 
They were... They beat Osasuna 7-1, remember? That I remember that. scored the hat-trick. Mm-hmm. His mom was just above us in the VIP stand. So I've never seen anything scored, like that. Uh, they came end. running up to our section. That's, it was yeah. nuts, man. The Milan-Real game, the best one. Bodo, was it the Trito? Yes, oh, the Seedorf. Oh, the Seedorf goal at the end, man. I Incredible. never forget. I am there. I'm watching the game. I'm like, do fucking mm. yeah. something! <laughs> he was just standing up, doing the little mm. shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Uh-huh. Then he lobbed it over to... Incredible, amazing, amazing. Seedorf is one of the most underrated players to have ever played the game. I think mm-hmm. he really doesn't get the respect he, he deserves. He's, he's, yeah, as in, they, he's, you never hear him being mentioned in any conversation when it comes to simply like Fuck a complete top, midfielder. Please. He can't do any anything. Anyway. In all of the roles, man, and he kept going at such an he, like he retired at the top, bro. He, you remember that season, just before the banter era when everyone started dropping out of yeah, Milan. Was, so it was, <laughs> th- there was Inzaghi, there was Nesta, Thiago Silva, and Ibra both went to PSG yeah. that Van season. Bommel. Van oh, Bommel, he was only there for two years, yeah, and he was, was crying his eyes got, out. Gattuso, Gattuso Maldini. Seydorf, Maldini, everyone, everyone, man, everyone the dropped out. Incredible. The only one that stayed was yeah. fucking Kevin Prince Boateng, bro. Yeah, I remember, I fucking like But don't worry, yeah. Milan had the next gen, no Rodney Strasser, and, yeah, yeah. and what was his name? They had Merkel, Merkel. Mm. Yeah, Merkel. Now Merkel is the president yeah. of, of Germany. <laughs> he, had, he had a sex change, I believe. <laughs> I can't mm. remember how I said You know how I used to like And I saw Pretty and those They had Coutrone Coutrone mm-hmm. He's with Como Under Fabregas Doing really well They mm. might get promoted He did well again Then he moved to Wolves mm. With exactly. fucking trash well, Because he was part Not part of the deal But um, we had sold him to Wolves and that helped us fund the move for Leal. Yeah. And you yeah. remember we were saying, oh, we're moving someone from our Primavera to get this unknown guy from Portugal. Where is that? Where is it? Absolutely. Who would you say your favorite player is out of mm. the current Milan squad deck? Favorite player? Uh, I don't know. They, mm. they, 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 they all kind of piss me off. <laughs> My, my Nowadays, Theo of, Hernandez. By I, I think like I that. think they all have individual moments of greatness. I'm really loving Adli. Yes, yes, bro. Fun. But oh. uh, when he drops a stinker, it stinks. Uh. Yeah. Uh-huh. When it's a shit <laughs> game, it's a fucking shit game. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'm really liking that. I was really enjoying Krunic. I was mm. really having good guys. Mm. I think my favorite is Tomori. Mm. Tomori That's is a very, very yeah. good choice. Very solid to fucking. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I, feel, I don't know. I feel, he's the only one I feel safe with. Everyone else is a uh-huh. bit... Yeah, I feel safe with Pulisic's work rate. Mm-hmm. His work he's rate an is undeniable. I would say he's the leader of the team, to be honest with Pulisic, you. Pulisic, you think? I think so. Yeah. I think so. As I think in so. mentality-wise. Because he, he came in shouldering all this responsibility that he's used to shouldering with the United States international team. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he usually is the main guy for that team. I can't Im- imagine him shouting when? with anyone. Come on, guys! True, but that, that's I'm talking about simply... <laughs> Coach is right! Coach is right, guys! <laughs> let's go! Let's do this! <laughs> simply by inspiring his teammates through playing constantly, through through work rate, like you're saying. There, there was a game, I can't quite remember which one it was, but the going really got tough and we needed someone to step up. Bro, it and was, it was the, the, the game recently. where Jovic got a red card. Yes. And, and he had a dickhead right at the end. Uh, yeah, he card, he right slapped away. someone. Was it Monza? It was Monza. It was Monza. It was Monza. And when, when, Pulisic inspired the, com- the uh-huh, comeback uh-huh, to two. And it was all him, man. We were 10 men and we were going for the win. You have the, Leao uh, on the uh, left, Colombo who's meant to be the, the marquee player, who's meant to be the star of the team. And he's hardly seeing the ball, you know. And mm. Pulisic is trying to make everything happen from the right. Random, man. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. His, his, his level of consistency is increasing. Mm-hmm. The month till he gets that five out of six games top. Right now he's at like two, three out of six mm-hmm. best. Mm-hmm. What's he like halfway missing? there? I think it's just a question of experience, huh? and it's just a question of him rinsing mm. and repeating the stuff. Over and over again. Uh-huh. I think he's a bit lazy. Mm-hmm. I don't think he is the type who would die who for would go the team. over and above. Yeah, uh-huh. I think he's a bit of a mercenary. Mm-hmm. You know, you know yeah. who I compare him with to a degree. I remember watching Vinicius Junior at at Real at a very young age. Um, and I remember saying, he's quick, he can dribble, but his output is a disaster. He can't pass, he can't yeah. shoot. 
And lo and behold, after four years playing top flight football, made, his yes. output is ridiculous. So maybe mm, another agreed. couple seasons for, for it's, Leo? It's, I, I wouldn't even call it laziness, to be honest with Leo. It's, it's kind of like indifference. At mm. times, yes, yes, yes perfect word. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and he he um because because I get the whole thing that he walks at a ridiculously slow pace to give his opposition a false sense of security because then when he when he changes gear he's got an extra gear that other Same. defenders don't mm-hmm. have like Same. this burns and boom, mm-hmm. like that like. nuts um right. but yes um when it comes to certain moments though where there's a loose ball that he could chase and try to get he doesn't mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. That, it's like. It's like when he gives up, you say, I, I, I gave up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He, he's, he, fuck it, it's done. Exactly. Yeah, this this exactly. game is over. It's, 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 it's all finished. Mm. But when he shows up, man, he's insane. He has, he has, I mean, the, the last... <laughs> the last the last game when he scored from out the box yes the, bro in the, the Europa place. League oh my god what was was insane what like that incredible was technique. Crazy. and that made yeah. us think man Jake we're saying at least like he's not stupid like because we he, he keeps <laughs> yeah. trying these shots from outside the box so we're like a you're not capable of fucking yeah, yeah, hitting yeah, the target yeah, yeah. why the it. fuck you must be stupid if you keep on trying but then, then he, 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 he scored got, we're like okay he scored like twice in a row from that same angle the recently uh-huh, uh-huh. Was, I think there's one in, in the series I can't remember I think so it was and as far away and as, as, and as uh-huh. pristine as uh-huh. the one in Europa League mm-hmm. but he got one as well mm-hmm. when it comes up front to... there needs to be someone up front there's fucking nobody I love Giroud uh-huh. I love Giroud he's off to, to MLS, MLS most likely he's likely. To the MLS uh-huh. he's gonna be 39 now Ooh, I mean like leave on a high to, to me Giroud is from um, a personality and from a style of play he's perfect for Milan but then sometimes in order to shake things up and take it to the next level, yeah. out with the old and I then with the new one. want to be a top team. There's no one here. Joshua Zergze of you Bologna. You're going to get Zergze, you Where think? Apparently, apparently Milan are willing to splash 40 million Zergze. to make him Zergze. the Talk. biggest signing. Zergze is amazing, bro. Can you imagine how dynamic the front three would be? Illiba. Illiba. It'll be crazy. If we get Zergze, it'll be amazing. Hey, yeah. I'll buy oh, shirt, I'm fucking getting excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that shit. If we get Zergze, yeah. Mm. I think he's like apart from Guevara, he mm. was the next breakout. shine uh-huh. breakout uh-huh. in, in, in the series. This season so he is the he's would, the I new would. the new kid on the block. That's this season is Zergze. Last year Guevara. Ah, uh-huh. this this year this Pulisic the as well before, obviously. The one before was Leao probably. Mm-hmm. He got, exactly. He got, exactly. He got the MVP actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when yeah. we won the league, when exactly. we won the league, With that season, my girlfriend had gotten us tickets, had gotten me tickets to go watch Milan Atalanta, which was the penultimate game of the season and our last home game of the season, and we had to win that game, and then we had to beat Sassuolo away, and we would win the league. Man. Um, and she had gotten me tickets to go watch this Atalanta game, obviously. Jake, I bought tickets as well. Bought tickets. <laughs> You're going. <laughs> you ain't gonna have fun on your own, bro. With his girlfriend, and we went. We went us four. We're all four of us. We were always yeah. hanging out together, so it was easy in that sense. Um, and we went, bro. First half, nil nil. I don't think they've ever seen me so anxious in my life. Just fucking rocking back and forth in the stadium, almost crying. Uh-huh. And then, fucking. Teo Teo just man. gets the ball as long as it went from the end, end to end when Krunic won it bro like, as that, as that, right as that. right in front of us bro right in front of us he scored that coast to coast goal I, I lost my voice shouting pass and pass <laughs> <Basala, laughs> and I almost ripped his shoulder out because I, yeah. I grabbed you and that goal you did well. and, I pu- and I pulled you, you did well. to spend the rest of the game like this man, man. Man. Good and fuck next time just rule with us that was insane in Maltese we say in Manka <laughs> that was amazing that game the, the, the hey, yeah, man. Of, of games have you heard of Albert Goodmanson of Genoa he's a silky Icelandic player with a weird court case <laughs> Goodmanson no yeah. he's phenomenal he's, he's a proper fantasista as well kind of a creative player the type that can flick the switch if you remember maybe Roma Genoa if you had watched the, the highlights uh-huh. there was a player who had absolutely deleted three players at one point and yes they the process, 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 no one process. They, had, they had they had got the living shit beaten off them exactly 4-0 exactly. it was Albert Goodmanson's a fantastic player probably one of the breakouts of this season and Inter were linked to him last mm-hmm. week Bastards. last mm-hmm. week and this week we've been linked to them apparently uh, Milan wouldn't, wouldn't mind exploring a little bit of Icelandic talent and his grandfather used to play with Milan Goodmanson 
as well. Yes. I don't I don't remember him obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. The court case isn't good. Huh? What's happening with the court? Why didn't I didn't hear this? Mm, alleged ladies, how do we ladies, 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 ladies yes, yes. Foot, footballers being inappropriate with ladies. Always the same, Ostia. Yes, yeah, uh, the, they don't want to uh, fucking learn, man. It's uh, 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 just just get consent. You know what I mean? Just get, just get, get the one fucking sign, cause. Can you sign ah. this? I don't trust you anymore. You see all the other 60, 70 people. But then there is. What's his name? Robinho. Yes. Rob- Robinho. Robinho. Again, again, bro. Robinho. I was again. someone else who got fucked recently. Danny Alves. Yes, Danny, Danny Alves, Alves, the most successful got, player in football history, they call him, with the amount of honors. Bailed that he out has. by Memphis Depay, apparently. One million euros. Seriously? He bailed him out. He was bailed out a few days ago. Apparently, Memphis paid it off. Okay, so we know who's his accomplice. Yeah. <laughs> It must be. You must have some shit on Memphis. You must have some shit on Memphis. For sure. That's for sure. That's for sure. sure. So let's recollect. Um, I never finished yeah, man, introducing you. Uh, sorry. Um, sorry. It was a drummer, a bit of torment, metal uh, band. Yeah, it's rubbish. You don't come here uh-huh. to see me. You come I can listen. I see you guys, and I came here because you are the only local podcast with that shit on sports, and I really like mm-hmm. it. And I really nice. want to start getting. Which I want to start. I'm never going to manage. I would love to get more involved into sports, coaching. Mm. Mm. That's TV, a dream, huh? TV shows, all this type of yeah, shit. Man. Like, I dream to have, like, this Soccer AM uh-huh. style yes. of play here. You know, you get... you get, you get. Because I used to play with Marsa, I was a mm. keeper. So I, I can imagine myself totally. In goal, there'll mm. be a keeper, a, a player of Mars, a player of... For... For... for, for um, for clarity's sake, you'll have mm. a player of United and a player of uh, uh-huh. of City, mm-hmm. and they're there doing challenges. Like top bins, challenges, sort of, yeah, stuff the, the like that. Have none of this shit. We're Zero, fucking bro. lacking, man. Zero. Uh, the sports and arts and comedy, hence why I did the podcast and all uh-huh. this stuff. In Malta is lacking big time, and there's a big gap to for it because people are thirsty for this shit. Absolutely, I'm, I'm really, man. I'm really proud of you guys. If you, I don't, I don't, I don't know you from fucking anywhere. <laughs> so I'm not telling you how to, to, to like float your boat. So oh, I'm really respect, happy that man. you guys are starting to do something different. Mm. Now. You like Thank you, bro. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Keep Thank it you. up, very big time. Right? And for those of you listening overseas, Max has a very successful podcast, and more. That's quite a breakout podcast, to be Absolutely. honest with you. Um, I think you're. How many episodes have you have you released? Is it like nine, ten? No, we're on fif- we're gonna be f- we just released fifteen yesterday. Fifteen yes, today, yes. actually this morning, and like it's amazing. incredible. You know, I, I what I love most about your podcast to to give you some back is that you have you've put on display Maltese authenticity at its finest. I feel like when it comes to Maltese people in front of a camera, everyone hides, everyone is stiff, yeah, everyone's right. afraid to stand out. When it comes, you're speaking how people speak in real life. Exactly. That's all it yeah. fucking exactly. is, man. It's conversation between friends, between especially male friends, because the co-host is is is, is a man, and that mm-hmm. was like sort of our main audience. We said, all right, we're gonna like get the male. Uh-huh. We're 60, 40. 60 yeah. male, 40 women, which is mm, huge. That's incredible. It's huge. We're like 90 male. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, this is, it makes sense. Yeah, it, makes yeah, it sense. does. You know, football, I mean. Yeah. They have yeah. to learn how to play it first. I'm yeah. joking! <laughs> <laughs> joking. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, the max we brought yeah, on. Yeah, this is yeah. the reason. This is what happens in that but, but no, as in, as in, yes, it's just talk, a good conversation between friends out in the public and people are impressed. Why is this shit happening? Uh, yeah. What do you mean, why? Man, this fucking shit happens mm. daily. Time, That's what we talk about. We talk yeah. about stupid stuff, we talk about sex, we talk about drugs, we talk about sports, having fun, weird shit, weird stories, but... I'm sharing it with the, with the public. Who wants to listen can listen. Exactly. Who doesn't want can. That's the. Well, I can yeah, fuck off. And, and, and I mean, after 15 episodes, I think. Are you, are, are you the biggest podcast in Malta at the moment? I would say I so. I would dare say we are the biggest. I, I think you are. I think you are. I Genuinely, so, yeah. uh, shout out to like the John Malias and so on and so forth who raise a lot of awareness and do great work through their podcast. But when it comes to just authentic fucking comedy, which is something we lack in Malta, um, yeah, yeah. they're doing more. Like Shout out Daniel Schwerep, so on and so forth, who are doing a lot for comedy in Malta. But obviously... Your reach is no, right. fantastic. And I mean, I mean, John has a bigger audience than we do. He's he's, mm. he's got he's got a bigger fan base, which is totally understandable. And I'm really happy for him. I'm happy for everyone. I wish that everyone just fucking explodes. I don't That's understand it, this whole rivalry uh, in Malta. Mm. We have a habit, so still fucking hating. Yes, mm. bro. Yes, we, yes, we, yes. We hate on others. No, I, I, 
there's a huge chance next time we go on the podcast I will make fun of you guys. That's not a, just, <laughs> Please for, do. just for the fun of it, you know, because it's what friends mm. would do. It's bad. Mm. Just, just you wait till the end. <laughs> <laughs> You do well, you do well. It's just, it's just, it's just good, good fun and games. But, but yeah, we're lucky that people seem to be liking what we're doing. And ah, that's, we, it. that's and, it. And the thing you you notice as well is that in your long form content, for example, you hear so many positive comments. And if you go on your YouTube comment section of Buy to Bacon, for example, you go through the comments. It's all love. It's a community. Then you look at the bloody TikTok reels, hate and it's it's a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of and and the same same with it. us <laughs> and same with us. We we'll put up of a course, video, of what, one comment. Oh, I got a comment. I go to click it. Horrible voice. Fucking hell, dude. Yes, yes, man. Yes, 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 yes. Personally, I I don't give a fuck, and, and and the reason it doesn't come from a place of ego, like I'm super confident in what we do, so on so forth, but. We live in a society where, unfortunately, especially Malta, with us being small and judgmental, everyone talking about each mm. other, so on and so forth, a lot of people, because they have a fear of being judged, because they fear that everyone is as judgmental as them. Mm. So what happens when people start thriving, when people go for it and people do it? They feel the, the, the instant gratification from shitting on these people, even if they're speaking to their friends. Oh, you saw those idiots. They started their own podcast. Oh, they want to be like Logan Paul. They want to be like Jake no, Paul. No, that's so that. Uh, so sure, maybe we'll do that. It's maybe we we'll fucking do. This is the hate, dude. This is the fucking mm. hate. You know, I remember there's this big personality in current Lumaltis media. Ah, he's, he's a big guy. He's been doing mm. this for a long time and. When he saw our first episodes, the podcast, they did really well. And like the first thing he told me was, like, nah, it's nice, but you're going to have trouble finding guests and sponsors. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. V- really? really fucking, this is, this, this is what you have to tell me from everything? Mm. You couldn't just fucking say nothing. <laughs> did, did you have to tell me you're going to have trouble? No. Hey, hello, I love it. There are haters, man. And, and a uh, fake more... smile with the process as well. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. so, the more, what's the word? The more, the more, the more uh, the from what I've learned is that in, in my like what since COVID I've been doing social media constantly. It's become ridiculous how much I have done. The amount of videos I've uploaded is insane. The more hate you get, the better you're doing. So mm-hmm. the, the more hate that's coming, the, mm-hmm. the better I Absolutely. feel. So mm-hmm. And they have the I love right. it. It's, 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 it's motivation. Yeah. yeah. It's, all good. That. it's all good. So Max, we grew up back to football, um, idolizing the likes of Gattuso, Maldini, Kaka, and Zaghi. Those were our guys, right? And I remember as well fondly, I have fond memories of Pato and Kevin Prince Boateng. Those were my guys. I'm not quite sure how old you are, first of all. 38. 38, yeah. okay. Okay, so you're 10 years older than me. Um, who did Gross you grow that. up admiring? Who was your child? Were you a fan of Milan since childhood? You and I was always a fan of Milan. Since childhood, yes, they were my first thing. The thing is, in Malta, you guys have the luxury of fucking watching games when mm-hmm. you were a kid. Mm-hmm. I had a dad who did not give a shit about sports, so okay. we did not have mm-hmm. satellite or stuff. Mm-hmm. So we could not see football games at the time. What we had was... Porno magazines. Porno magazines. Not even, <laughs> not even porno magazines. I had to, to, for me to fucking jack off, I used to have to use the, the catalogs of clothes. <laughs> You know, and, get, oh, and then my mom. <laughs> That's the joke. That's what you have to do. And I have to flip to, to the yeah. like lingerie section. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this one, she's got a see through bra. This is amazing. But, um, I had a magazine. You know, what was it called? Scots, Scots, the metal. Ah, the metal, the Scots. Heavy metal Scots. They had some good, some fine, some fun ladies. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. That yes. was yes, yes, that yes, was yes, where yeah. I used mm-hmm. to get my. <laughs> you know, I used to have that. And then, and then, every now and then, I used to, uh, I used to open Peter and Jane. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, with, I didn't used to see football. Mm. I, I couldn't see football. I used, but there used to be a show. I don't know if you remember. This probably too young. Processo di Biscardi. You remember it? I no, no idea. It used to be fucking amazing. It used to be like uh, essentially. It used to be. There used to be two shows. Processo di Biscardi, and there was another one. I forgot what it was called. It was my dear goal, which was amazing as well. Mm. Which, and there was and there were three shows in Italian, which was basically like what uh, the English Premier League has. The uh, with Alan Shearer, pr- so on so no, forth. No, they they have one with Gary Lineker. Okay, ah, the ah, day. yeah, so the day. Day. that's they amazing. Used, they used to have that, but for Serie A, mm. because they had no one had the rights to see that shit. Oh, so good. they used to get a replay of every single game. 
and they is like have a panel mm. with like proper footballers and I like, oh. comment about what's happening and this this and that. And then there was Protesto Di Biscardi where Protesto Di Biscardi used to be this guy who used to give his opinion on the games and he used to be really outspoken. Mm. And like be really harsh on the players, and there was my dear goal, which was like football, but a bit on a, on a comedy side. So oh, very good. There was a real lot of this football, so that's what I used to watch. So mm. I used to like keep 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 up with what's going on because it's just like Milan. That's yeah. pretty much it. I didn't give a shit or know the players about their teams. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're, they're, I mean, when you're young, you know, that's basically, why I was, I was like, I, I, I never forget <laughs> the, the, the the season when when Roma sing Totti there. They they had won it in the nineties. I forgot where it was with Cassano. Mm. Oh yeah, well, it was it was. It was insane. I remember that that season. I was at my grandma in Rabat ages ago. I was a kid. I'm watching this yeah. fucking program. I lost. <laughs> where, where were you in the when the 2006 World Cup final was happening? Okay, I remember clearly. You remember where we were? Yes, Riviera. Riviera, Riviera bro. Riviera. Beach Riviera. on the beach. Mm-hmm. 2006 Italy, so what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know I don't I, I don't give a shit about it today. You know, uh, <laughs> um, I uh, international break for me is I'm gonna watch Malta. Yeah, absolutely. I that, find it a bit, a bit, a bit weird how I am, how, how let's say Malta have this crazy fanaticism on on the Italian and England squad. Especially, yeah. I, I really can't get the grips as uh-huh. to why we're so hell bent on the national team of yeah. Italy and yeah. England. <laughs> What the fuck's going on, man? <laughs> I understand club football because that's mercenary stuff. That yes. is like, yeah, but I, I do not understand mm. country to be honest at all. Mm-hmm. Once I had a teacher who said that um, Maltese people celebrating when like Italy or England score or win, it's like a bird being really happy that another bird has beautiful feathers. It's it's fucked up. It doesn't it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I can't understand. No, it. I, I think like when when Malta are playing always Malta, I'm not gonna lie, at the World Cup and the Euros come about, I put on my Italy kit and I go fucking mental. Why <laughs> Oh listen fuck the English eh? and yes, yes but let's put Amen. it let's first, put it out there. First and foremost Fuck the English national team. We have many listeners in this. It's going on my yeah. fucking ass. All of you. <laughs> All of you. And we're going to explain why soon. Because in Malta, the English fans are bloody terrible. They're the worst. How can I go see They're a the worst. How can I go see Man United against AC Milan when that when Kaká scored that wonderful oh. goal? How can I go see that game? And you have people shouting, Kino, he retired <laughs> three years ago. <laughs> what the fuck's happening? God, can you tell me what am I doing here? And it, it, they can't hear you. Mm. We're in a bar sitting down. Why are you shouting, mm. Kino? Was weird, this? man. The, the, I don't the, understand. Uh-huh. It. Well, the defen- making the defenders kiss. Yeah, 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 that's really. was good. That, you that was Heinz and... Heinz and Ferdinand. No, Heinz and Evra. Heinz, Heinz, Heinz and, and Evra. Evra. Their right back and their left back met in the middle. They're like, let's meet halfway and kiss. Well, Kaka beautiful. fucking fucks beautiful. us entirely. Yeah. And there was, people forget, there was Sadov's goal that was amazing. And you remember Gilardino came on with a fresh haircut. Yeah. He had just shaved <laughs> his head, bro. He came on and he scored that goal. Jesus. And in the first yeah. leg, they had beaten us 3-2. And the ego on them, you remember when Rooney, Rooney scored? Rooney scored at the end yeah. of Brocky was keeping him onside, bro. Yeah. And, and then the second leg, fucking 3 0. Destroyed, man. Oh, destroyed. Beautiful. One of my favorite yeah. games ever. My favorite, one of my favorite moments in Milan history was the beginning of the banter era. Like you could see that Milan started slowing down. I remember in the Champions League, every season, round of 16, who are we playing? Barcelona. Barcelona. Fucking. Give me a break. Ridiculous. Give me Stupid. a break. Always Barcelona. But 26 seconds in, Pato oh gets the God, ball, knocks it forward, and just one of my favorite goals in his he looked man. It, he, lo- he made it look like, why, why doesn't this happen more often? Five aside. Oh, it was a five aside. Man, that that was so. That was the season when he, when he got jacked up from one year to the next. I think, ah, I think so. he had uh-huh. a bit of trouble. Uh-huh. 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 There was one season when he just fucking <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's but when that, he that started was... going out with Berlusconi's daughter. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 That was the goal when Boateng did the heel. Yeah. I, I think that was in the... I, I don't the know if was on his I brother. Think, uh-huh. I think the return was leg was... On his brother. I, I never made that connection. Mm. That that goal was insane. That, where he did like the Rabona yeah. to dribble the defender. And then, and then he shot near post. Near post. Exactly. And exactly. Exactly. Valdez exactly. went the wrong way. He just belted it. Let's yeah, exactly. Exactly. But, but, but exactly. it, it, it came, it came mm. good. But the... The heel flick I had to, to, to Beautiful, skip past bro. Boateng was insane. Beautiful. Yeah. I love yeah. Boateng, man. Where do you stand on this whole hashtag purely out? Hostia Madonna. <laughs> I want to change, yeah? Mm. 
You know, uh, I think it's the end of a cycle. I want to change. Uh, he's he's won me a bit recently because, to be totally fair and to give him all his props, there was a time where every substitution he was making didn't make a fucking difference. Bravo. Mm-hmm. Recently, he, uh, yeah. because now he has the players. No, like last year when we were playing Inter in the Champions League fucking semi-finals, I'm like, why the. Fuck isn't this guy making a substitution? We're two goals down. Make a substitution. I don't understand. Ha- this but his argument was always, I don't have the squad depth to do it. Now he has Jovic, he has Okafor, he has Chukwes. This, this season he struggled as well. And when it came to, I mean, first of all, during having a full, injury a full crisis squad so. because yes, during the injury crisis. But um, his his decisions, his man management, and. Um, his, his strange his subs mm-hmm. during the game the, and Nap- the Napoli yeah. game to me well, I, I remember watching that game I was in Australia bro I was in Australia for a month and I was tuning into that game and that I needed some serotonin I'm like let me watch Milan Napoli first half we're killing them 2-0 and then we come 2-2 and Giroud speaks at the end of the game he's like look I'm gonna be honest we were two goals up and I personally didn't know whether we should be attacking or defending yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like that's, that is clearly if you have Hostia. yeah if you have Simone and Zaghi, if you have Conte, if you have Allegri, you know. Believe me, you know. Mm-hmm. You know what to do. And unfortunately, sometimes I think either he's a bit too um, um, friendly with the players. Maybe he doesn't assert enough dominance. Maybe they don't respect him too much. I don't know. But these decisions don't seem to come across to the team. They don't I, seem to be communicated. I look to at the, the team. potential replacements that are being mentioned. You look at Conte, De Zerbi and Motta. With all due respect, they're all they're all fantastic managers, but only one of them is a direct upgrade Conte. when it comes to Conte is an upgrade for sure in every department. But the others are promising De Zerbi and Motta, De Zerbi, but you can't yeah. say you're upgrading huh, when you get De Zerbi yeah. or Motta to replace Pioli because Pioli is more decorated and he's proven himself uh-huh. at this level. Huh? Because this season, he has amassed the same amount of points that he got during the Scudetto winning season. The exact same season. The by this. Yes, Inter this year is a f- I fucking hate to mm. say it, but they're dominant. They're incredible. Yeah. One loss in the league, that's, that's the, wild. The football is insane that they're playing. And they're I recently saw a tactical video on what Nzaki is doing. It's... It's incredible. Oh, he will have the two fucking center mids at the back, and then mm. it's, I don't know what it does. It's the football is playing. It's genius. Oh, it's genius. It's you see the way they move the ball and how quick they are and how fluid they are. And it's like clockwork, and man. When good, they move. Man. It's like sometimes Milan are kind of like figuring it out when they're attacking. Yes, like, yes, okay, now the time, yeah, I play yeah, Leao. Yeah. There's a chance. There's a, but it seems like Inter can score a goal, but. All their eyes closed. Like and they have, 11 players with their eyes closed. They have patterns of play. I feel like with Milan, it's always individual brilliance that gives Milan the goal. Mm, always. Exactly. It's never a, an intricate passage of play like with Inter. It's mm. never like, okay, pass to the midfielders, the midfielder stuck in, the left centre back advances, crosses to the right fucking centre mm. back who scores the goal. Like that's, that's incredible, yeah, 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 man, with what Inter mm, are doing. There's none of that stuff. Inter have the wings are crazy. Yeah, They're yeah. individually. The, the, and Madonna, what's his name? Di Marco. The Marcos a piece, but even the other one. Dan who, Fries, Dan Dan Fries. Fries. No, there was even even Darmian. Carlos Augusto as mm. well is a fucking animal man. Darmian but Charlie Jackman on, uh, on United. United this right. year. He, 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 he everyone's a beast. They let go of Brozovic, who was their star player. Mm-hmm. Uh, no fucking difference mm-hmm. at all. Fratesi is doing it. Everyone, everyone, everyone. No, that's uh, it's, it's true. The because weakest uh, player is Turama. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Kind of. And he's scoring he's in all the big games. Uh, exactly. Of. Every single big game. I think they played um, against all, obviously, the season they played against all the top seven teams. And I think he scored against every single one. Acerbi, Allah, with us, nothing. Disaster. Acerbi, with us, was an alcoholic. The, 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 it's, 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 it's come out as a fact he was an alcoholic when he was yeah, at yeah, he, was, he was very distracted he says he claims and then he had a reality check because he was diagnosed with testicular cancer okay. he recovered he moved to Sassuolo reinvented himself as a player no, no. moved to Lazio, Lazio. Lazio played an incredible season bar the game that gave us the, the league title uh-huh. um, <laughs> and then was snapped up by Inter mm-hmm. I think I think he had two bouts with testicular cancer. Could be. You saw what he did recently, um, uh, where, where he, um, he racially, racially abused Juan, Juan Jesus. Jesus of Napoli. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did he do? He called him the N word. And apparently, there isn't enough evidence, so he's not banned. 
us. In English? I mean, he comes. I assume. In Italian. In Italian. Bear in mind, he's coming from the Lazio background, so at the end of the day, it's it's it's, uh, uh, it's muscle story, memory. Yeah, like, yeah. oh my god, look, a black person. I don't know where I was. I no, listen, I was in Colombia. Mm. I was in nice, Colombia. Man. I went on work, really, mm. and uh, and there was this. There is, and they have like a wall of, well, of our office where they have all the employees. Mm. And there was at this bottom, there was this this like one of the employees I, I didn't see him face to face but it was there it was this big mm. jacked guy yeah. mm. <laughs> and and I and we were talking to the Colombians about the war and he was he was he was black we were talking to one about the war and I told him and I was telling him there's a guy down at the bottom the jack the, like the little big mm. guy and he told me how does he look I mean, the guy who has he has dreads. Uh, I have uh, anything different. What to uh, see? And he was like literally trying to make uh, me fish. Uh, <laughs> he was trying to make me to say to say the, 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 the black guy. Uh, like, come on, he's tall. Exactly. Dark hair. Exactly. I felt kind of strange. But then he told me the N word. The uh, N word. Uh, oh my god. Like, uh, 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 it's cool with you. Was mm-hmm. a month. Yeah. I, mean, I, I I I'm no. I don't have a racist bone in my body. But uh-huh. said, no, no. Here it is. You say it's, it, it's a term it's, of endearment. Uh-huh. When you're playing, when they're South playing America. football, when they're playing football in South America, eh, and, eh, you know they mm. actually say it because it's what mm. you're seeing. Man, uh-huh. it's, it's I'm not gonna lie, I had a heart attack there. Yeah, you're gonna go with it. You're like, no, no, no. Fuck! Thank you for for clipping it for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, so it's it's. But however, I kind of doubt that a chair be meant it. I don't way. know, huh? Mm-hmm. Fucking Juan Jesus seemed pretty, seemed pretty I fucking em- about emotional. And, was. And, and I, I think about it was. It. I find it hard to like say. And no, apparently, there like, was a whole but... thing that he, that Juan Jesus said that Al apologized to him on the pitch, but then afterwards, Al denied even saying it. So Juan Jesus came out calling him a hypocrite, saying, Why did you apologize if you said ah, now that you never so met him? There going. was a whole thing mm-hmm. about That's, it. Yeah, okay. uh, Spalletti kicked him out of the national team. Mela, he was the now, Mancini oh. replaced him with the national mm. team. And he gave away a penalty, I think, in, his, in the opening. No, that was Buongiorno. That was Buongiorno. Yes, yes. Mm. Um, Conte de Zerbi or Motta? Conte, Conte. 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 He's, he's, been, he's been solid everywhere he's gone. I would take Ostia Motta as doing really great Motta's football. Doing great. I'd, I'd personally yeah, take, yeah, yeah. take Motta. Motta's doing really nice football and he's kind of mm. inventing the whole no position thing as well. Uh-huh. The, t- the 2 7 2. It's the insane what he's doing, Ostia. And what Conte has tried and tested, and Conte has the heart. Con- I Conte think will Milan, get you a title. Like. I think Milan lacked the heart. I think, mm. I think the, the whole unity in the team. Which was there when there was Zlatan has gone. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think people played for purely. I think people played for Zlatan mm-hmm. personally. Mm-hmm. I don't know fucking why. Mm. And I think Conte, he will will suffer a year or two, but then he will get good people in, good players who will play for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, every team he was with fucking loved the dude. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He is a sort of Mourinho. Yeah, uh-huh. you know, to, to a degree. Uh-huh. The I people love Mo- the, 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 the the club. The, oh, the players always uh-huh. fucking love Mourinho. It's, it's always yeah. like a family. And he's no. out there with the team, man. Uh-huh. When the team's playing, he's there on the touchline giving the referee yeah, shit. You know, exactly. he's out with yeah, them, yeah. He's suffering I, with them. I, I like, I like Conte. I'd love to have him on my team mm-hmm. on, 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 on with me. That would yeah. be interesting. Mm-hmm. It would, because he's always been the enemy. Yes, with that's everybody. the thing. I've never. Liked we- it Conte would be weird in my life yeah. because he was yeah. always either at Juve winning. I think he won two. Scudetti with Juve before and then Allegri came in and won like seven in a row Um, and then he went to Inter and he instantly won a Scudetto so I'm like Mm. I fucking hate this guy Madonna and to see him on the touchline for Milan man I don't know how I fucking feel about it it's weird weird. even even like like Motta with all due respect I I would love him at Milan he won he won won the treble at Inter man he was the guy that got a red card against Barca purely Juventino I mean Mm. if we keep going like this everyone has their boss you get nobody purely played for Juve yes 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 he wasn't good though. No. <laughs> it was alright. Yeah, the best place yeah. to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was like, that one out uh, over there. The best managers the are never bad insane here. Insane like, players like so, Ancelotti was amazing. Ancelotti was amazing. Yeah, was Xabi good. Alonso, we watched him live in that Real oh, Seven Osasuna one, and I have never in my life, at least in a football pitch, seen yeah. someone that, that moves the ball like him, man. Honestly, he's like. It's him, Pirlo, and Xavi to me. As, oh, as Pirlo, yeah, I, I, when I went to see with Juve. 
He was doing nothing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love what Steve didn't scare you. It was the season before he left, I think. I think mm. the season before, or, or, or one or two before he left. Mm. He was chilling, talking to the piano, so like this. And everyone is hustling in front of him. I'm like, hey, I'll do something, dude. What, what's going on? Pirlo, what I said, the end, he got lazy. And then he went with you, then he reinvented his himself again. That's because I think with... with um, there are players, like think of Van Bommel, when he was at Bayern Munich, he was a number 10, he was an attacking midfielder. As he started to age, he started becoming more pragmatic and more defensive. Yeah. Um, so Pirlo, it seems like Milan didn't quite adapt to his role, pushing him into a number 6, into a register role. And then Juve threw him straight there and he was reinvented, bro. Yeah. He had fucking... I mean, I'm Three with, to five we're, we're years. stopping midfield there in front of the defense. But he was a bit more offensive, yeah, with Milan, I find. Like Gattuso was the fucking stopper, yes, the, the true, anchor. True. So Pirlo had a bit more liberty to go forward because he had that last Pirlo, line. True. I, I feel like we'd sit in front true. of the defense and just orchestrate. Mm. That, that's what but was his, his right, with us, we, they always played diamond, Ostia. Yeah, uh-huh, the Christmas tree. They, they, were never, uh, they were never the two at the back mm-hmm. in front of the defense. So there was always just... Gattuso breaking shit because uh-huh. even Seedorf was was Seedorf and Pirlo sort of had the same dy- exactly dynamic exactly yeah. so like, like he was never Seedorf given... a bit more athletic more like box to box he was never given the sort of listen yeah. uh, mm. a passage of play is in your hands with me uh-huh. you know? he had the chance but he had competition from Seedorf yeah, exactly competition from Kaká up front so there mm. was a there yeah. was it's true you, you, I don't know true. what a team uh, what a team what oh, the team, best yeah. too insane no oh, those champions with Arla Stam Maldini yeah. how can you lose incredible. how can you lose incredible Mala. Oh, Mala. It's, 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 Maldini um, had to play left back like. Mala. Mala. that's the thing about that oh, how can you lose you don't you remember the PSV game the PSV game when, we, when we were winning 3-0 home you mentioned the three the, the, the Deportivo the Deportivo Deportivo 4-0 <laughs> and then we lost 4-0 away insane, oh 4-0 man. home 1-0 away and we lost 4-0 that's home. crazy that's, that's the nature yeah. of European competition now you, uh-huh. can, you, never, you can never say this fixture is over man because mm-hmm. one goal scary. in a scary environment is especially yes Max if you had to so, so right now Milan are doing this whole money ball thing right where for example mm-hmm. Um, we saw Tonali being sacrificed and then three replacements being brought in to, to fortify the team, essentially. Um, if the same thing had to be done in the next transfer window, who would you sacrifice between Leao, Manian and Theo Hernandez, assuming we'd get between uh, the 70 to 100 million euro? Um, Mar- Leao, Manian, Theo Hernandez. Uh, I would kind of say... I would I, I would go with what you guys said there mm-hmm. as well. I think I think I think from the three I choose Manian. Mm-hmm. Just in the being that there are plenty of other good keepers out there. And our left flank is one of the beautiful most beautiful things to see in a long Absolutely. time. So mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't want to destroy that dynamic. Bravo. I don't think they'll do very well without each other, to be honest, both of them. And I think they kind of know it, Ostia. Mm-hmm. They have a good mm-hmm. link up play, they played very well. That goal that they scored the one where where yes um, where, with where, the layout through ball from the flank to, into to the le, middle to, to Teo to he was a bit lucky he, he fucking struggled till the mm-hmm. end he fought for every ball mm-hmm. was about to go out and he got it uh, then it, it hit the, the, the defender and he got it as well mm-hmm. and uh, we, we, we see that every five yes, games yes. we see them but they, they, they do they do fucking job so yes so so mm-hmm. so fuck Manian at the end of the day and he can go <laughs> I like him, Taz, and and when there was Tata Rosan, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. The, the stat was Milan are conceding with every shot they concede, <laughs> and then two days later, I remember breaking news. Tata Rosano, the 39-year-old, has an astigmatism. He's and undergone like, surgery. He's undergone the, 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 surgery. I'm like, mashallah, fucking fine. <laughs> fucking one. <laughs> he, he was 9 out of 11 shots were goals. Stop. Crazy, man. That season. Last yeah, season. Was last bad, season. Huh? Imagine. Bad, huh? Imagine so. Imagine. You, 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 you're a teacher at a school. And you go for an outing with kids. You go for an outing. You go inside the, the, the outing and you come back with two kids. 
and nine of them <laughs> they just disappeared. Someone is scoring with them somewhere, and you don't know what. Yeah, that's it's, it's bad. Oh. It's, it's, it's not a good way. ratio. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nine no. out of eleven. It's horrible to your fucking job. You had one job to to keep these kids safe. Ma, man. And nine ma. of them went missing, literally, dude. It's not literally. good, dude. At least now the second option is sport yellow. Who's who's yeah. 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 And man, young. I'm sorry, ta, but for a goalkeeper to be injured. Two months every season it's is bad, a bit true. ridiculous. It's true. Yeah. It's, it's like true. what is there was, you, you know about the theory that the um there were chats on WhatsApp that were leaked that Manyan um his injuries are cover ups ah. because he has a coke addiction. <laughs> These are these are rumors that he are is, is, he yeah. is a good actor all the time. He yeah. yeah. has the why personality that? of someone that would love cocaine. I'm just yeah, why? Why would why, why would you cover up I've, coke addiction with injuries? Because I guess the doping period. Um, because yeah. they, they um, test you after certain games. It's like if you know, yeah, that bender. This, this, this is of course all hearsay. Yes, 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 and yes, the same yes. thing was said about El Sharawi back in the day. If you remember, mm. El they used to say that El Sharawi would disappear. Oh, he looks like a guy. He looks like a guy. Yeah, with his hair whack. He, he looks like he'll own a BMW. Yeah, 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 he'll go uh, to the clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks the type. Yeah, yeah. 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 He looks very. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Absolutely. Very true, El Sharawi. He was a pity he left. It was mm-hmm. a pity. And, mm-hmm. and he went I to China. I like him. And I thought he was done. And now he's come back and he's doing all right. Oh, very good. Yeah. 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 Left wing back, left wing, left striker. He's, he's playing good. anywhere on the left side for Roma, man. That's true. Captain Clutch. Where yeah. do you stand on Calabria? Hey, he's finished, though. You think he's you finished? Think he's, finished? That's, uh, oh. he can't, he's not even anywhere. He's 27, 28. 27, 28. He's... Uh, he gets beat often, guys. Mm. He gets yes, beat yes, often. Yes, yes. He, he gets beat often him. by plenty of people. He was he was way stronger a good three four years ago when he won the season. Yes, uh, his it, I, I see his batteries has have, have have died out, and I don't think, I don't think he he is captain material mm. to the extent of people being afraid of him. I saw a video recently of Maldini and Gattuso. Mm. There's Gattuso, he's shot, he, he, he did a, an insane tackle on someone, and there's Ancelotti just shouting at him. Uh. And he's shouting back at Ancelotti, telling him, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> You're not playing. Smetti, la, smetti, mm. shout him. <laughs> and then Maldini went, grabbed him by the fucking t-shirt Imagine and told that, him, that. listen, don't you fuck this up for us. <laughs> this is really important. And they pushed him away and then he calmed down. Ah, Imagine that. that Calabria can't do that to fucking... anyone. Eh? No, no, no. Calabria, he's the captain because of seniority. As a, yes. As a, like, yes. Like, Tonali, for example, if, if Milan kept him and were to make him captain, you see moments in him where he's fighting with Dumfries, fighting for the team. He agreed, 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 agreed. You're like he's captain material. Mm. But I, I think the only player Milan have at the moment that is captain material is Theo Hernandez, in my mm. opinion. Yeah, because at least he has the balls. Yeah, well, that's all he has, though. Teo's great, man. Teo's. You don't rate Teo? I have a. F- I, I just. Yeah, I, Controversial I, opinion, yeah. I. Uh, he, he, he's amazing. Athleticism is full on. In my kind of. I, I love. Don't get me wrong, I love mm-hmm. the guy. He's a fucking lifesaver. He's there. But I do not know why. Uh, he's, he's way too erratic to be a captain, in my opinion. He, mm. he, he can't keep his cool. He can't keep his nerve. He, he fights for the team, but I have a, I have a slight feeling it's, he's fighting more for himself than for the team. And I'm a bit old school. Mm. I was raised with the, with, with, with the Maldinis, with the Nestas, uh-huh. with these fucking Baresis. I was raised... Yeah. With these people who will die for the team, mm. I think he dies for himself, Ostia. Mm. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know. I, I used to think think of it very much like you, like in his first two years, and um, we see a, a cocky, confident left wing left wing back that likes to attack too much, you know. And he's he's a good looking guy, you know, marketable. And I'm like, I don't trust this guy. Kind of thing. He was a bit sloppy defensively in the beginning. He still is. Yeah, that is much better, huh? I don't know. Yes, I yes, he's much better. Uh, he's sloppy. Like he played, he played centre back, and he was 
that's amazing. That's that's opinion. true. He did he did he a couple of games. He's buying too many advances, and sometimes he doesn't release the ball and he loses it stupidly and leaves yeah. us vulnerable for the counter totally. But I wouldn't say. I, I I'd say if if he if he's in line with his man, he will most likely win the fifty mm-hmm. fifty. Uh, mm-hmm. From from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. Yes, no, no, no that's bro. that that's he's no a horse. Z- workhorse he's a horse. full on the the nineteenth mm-hmm. minute is running like a fucking Z. Well, exactly. Right? That's mm-hmm. that that's that's very true. I do not know why. I, I kind of don't see him intelligent enough. I, I might be fucking totally yeah, out there. You're not the first person. I might be yeah, totally yeah, wrong. Yeah. About their own. Yeah. I, don't, I don't see him intelligent enough to, to lead a team, especially through emotions, seeing mm. as how emotionally he gets to be a bit all over the place mm. more often than not. That being said, there is no fucking other captain. It's true. I think that the the reason I like him as captain as well is because he is definitely by far the most street smart. It's a, he might not be that into, like to pick out a pass or something like that. Like you're saying, maybe there's there's some maturity that he could be going through. But when it comes to street smarts of how to get your opponent sent off, how to give him a yellow mm. card. Yes, how yes, to yes. sneaky, game. sneaky fucker. He's yes. a sneaky motherfucker, man. There was that yeah. game in the Europa League recently when Milan had a 3-0 advantage at San Siro and then we went to France against Ren 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 and uh, I turned on my TV and I, I look and the fans are all jumping the mm. vibes are immaculate I'm like these guys are gonna fucking come out for us they yeah. came out in the first 10 minutes they score and I'm like this, this, is, might, yeah, this, yeah, this like, is gonna be bad like, uh, and that's when Theo started getting the ball Holding on to it, winning fouls, slowing down the tempo. He kind orchestrated like, it, he uh, fixed it. Mm. Kind of giving, uh, giving Milan time to calm yeah. down and to, mm. to recollect themselves. Mm. And I think uh, at that time he was really needed like to, to kind of like refresh, mm. like let's start yeah. again. And he's been there a while, oh, five, six years. He knows mm. the team. He's, he's probably the most experienced one apart from Calabria within the team, man. No, there's no one else. Maybe Benasser, but mm. once again, he's another one who is coming in and out. He kind of lost his place. Injuries, uh, injuries Ramadan. Yes, agreed, agreed. <laughs> Ramadan didn't help. <laughs> Ramadan they say, you know, have you ever heard of Ramadan Karim? <laughs> Ramadan Benzema apparently is the best version well, of Benzema statistically we have ever seen. Oh, right. Really? Apparently, he says, and he's not the first one, but these Muslim players, they say that um, when they're fasting, they're more energetic. Yeah. They're more eager to they play. The power of Allah. They, they've got the power of Allah, literally. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. I guess. I guess it's whether it's a placebo on. belief or an actual fucking thing. Ramadan for everyone. Ramadan, number one. I yeah. should try it. It'll be good. Cheers to Ramadan. So, Max, being a Milan fan in your early 50s means that you've uh, <laughs> been through Milan's infamous banter era, right? This is between 2012 and 2020, where Silvio Berlusconi, of course, didn't want to let go of the club, and he was clearly struggling to support it financially. When he eventually did sell the club, um, he sold it to these mysterious Chinese figures in Han Li and Yong Hong Li, if you remember, um, who immediately spent 200 million euros on hot garbage. Andre Silva, um, Luis Adriano. Yes, leading the club to eventually get a European ban and losing ownership of My the club with a small no. installment that they couldn't pay back in time. Eventually, the club fell into the hands of the hedge fund Elliot, right? Um, Milan won just one trophy during this stretch, the Super Coppa Italiana under Vincenzo Mont- Montella. If you remember it, Pasalic that scored the winning penalty. Mm-hmm. Um, and finished as lowly as 10th under Pippo Inzaghi. Now, my first question for you is who was your least favorite coach during the banter era? Least favorite? Hmm. Well, see, I had lots of heart for all these coaches mm. because they were all players. Mm-hmm. Gattuso. Seedorf, mm, and Zaghi, those Brocchi at a point as Brocchi well. at a uh-huh. point. I didn't like Brocchi. Yeah. Never no, liked him like as Brocchi a player, never liked him. Why a Brocchi, what a wicked kid. Yeah. Yeah. Was he good? I, I think oh, I was too young maybe to understand his industry. I know yeah. Brocchi punk are all amazing yeah. that time. It was beautiful. <laughs> I saw Brocchi. I just oh, like yeah. him. Was a, he, was, he was like a... a wish Gattuso. Uh, <laughs> I guess. I you guess. know what I mean, Brocchi? Mm. He was good. Uh, worst man, man, manager, worst. Ah, Sidorf was rubbish. Sidorf mm. wasn't great. Sidorf was yeah, trash. At the moment of Balotelli. Uh-huh. 
Who has the biggest like cock from everyone? Classic and Italy. And he just, and, and he just literally without a, without batting an eye. Ah, Sidor. Like straight away, no problem whatsoever. Like easily, easily. My least favorite, by the way, is John Paolo. John Paolo. Yeah, what a night in Quarash. To me, seven games. Gattuso, Gattuso was just like we always say, steps to success. And Gattuso had gotten us the closest we had ever been. One point away. To getting away. us Champions League. One point very away. True, and now the Napoli Verona, I think, had fucked us, I mm-hmm. remember. Um, I we were there, there Gattuso. bro. And he knew, he knew the team. I was dying for us to have one more season with him. I agreed. Like, John Paolo came in. Okay, he did. We can't deny what he did at Sampdoria. He was fucking amazing. With the 4-3-1-2, I remember. But to come in and to just ignore... The players that you have, and to just implement your system, you put well, Suzo. He was brought in for. You put Suzo, who only has blow. a left foot. You put him in attacking midfield. He was totally wasted as a footballer. Yeah. But he just came in and blindly went for his system. You can't like yes, sure he came in to do that, but you can't fucking blindly ignore What's he the doing players now? that you have. John Paolo, I have no I idea. Have no clue. I, I don't think he's coaching in our but in Italy. So I have no idea. Ashwood Sampi was top, as he you said. Amazing. He did some yes. fucking Say magic, Sostia. Yeah. He, he is who, who purely replaced him. I am curious. Had we got Ragnik, Ostia? What would have mm. happened? Ra- no, Ragnik, Ragnik, um, is very, never he was, he love was love. Un- very unfairly, I feel like, treated by United. I feel like the United players are a bunch of players with very big egos. They're a fan base that is very loud. They don't maybe understand some sports science, so on and so forth. Um, Ronaldo didn't do him any favors. He spoke on that Piers Morgan interview where he shot on Ragnik. Is like Ragnik isn't even a coach. Look at what he did that was he with RB Leipzig, Menalia. Mm, yes, uh, he did fucking God's work at them, bro. He made them a European as well, force. Being the sporting director and the, the yeah, as, uh, he was great. I, I would have liked to see Ragnik at Milan at a point. It's been interesting, oh, yeah, mm. and you need that li- that little bit of. I say I agree in this whole militant kind mm. of. Leadership, Ala Ferguson, you know, mm. this type of constant listen, you don't fuck with me, I'm the manager mm. here. Yeah. Exactly. That's how Ancelotti was. Alavodia, they used to be, they used to, I think, smoking a cigarette uh, on the touchline. It's very egg, very, and, and nowadays, I think that's what Puyol doesn't have. The authority, I don't think Puyol has it. Mm. Fair enough. I mean, that's probably one of the hardest criticism pieces that you can give to mm-hmm. to, to um, Pioli mm-hmm. because there have been moments where players talk back to him where, where he, he subs out the player and you know they're, they're, they're sulking and all mm-hmm. that there's clearly ah, and, and the fact that the success came when Zlatan came as well yeah, so maybe they, maybe as you mentioned they were playing for Zlatan not the authority the is sure, elsewhere sure. the authority mm-hmm. isn't coming from the coach yes and, and oh, let's not forget as well that Milan were only in the Champions League last season because Juve we're Fuck ducked out. points Plus last season yes, yes, that yes, was yes, yes. we wouldn't even be talking about Pioli he wouldn't even mm-hmm. be here if he hadn't mm-hmm. qualified for if Juve hadn't been ducked their points if fucking Agnelli wasn't scum yeah, yeah, then yeah. Pioli wouldn't be here anymore agreed very true yeah. um, speaking of the banter era though um, I'm going to give you some names okay from the banter era and I want you to share your fondest memories mm. of yeah, these players okay? if I have any of them <laughs> let's start with the man the myth of the honest. legend Andrea Pioli and full of energy, full yeah. of sprite <laughs> that as well. well. <laughs> and had the video is, is, is it just go ah, <laughs> I just lose it and just 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 stumble. Yeah, so. my, my Paulie, Paulie, he had that. He, he, he yeah. had that fucking grinta at least yeah. in midfield, like the desire and Brett. He had the desire. He did, and he won. You could tell he's trying, mm. Ostia, but maybe a bit too hard at times, no, man. For, with no end, with, uh-huh. with the, the mom. I can't remember any. I don't. I don't remember anything between, except probably the like some insane Balotelli shit that used mm-hmm. to happen. 
I can't remember some massive moments in that in the banter area, so I'm pretty mm. sure you're gonna ask me stuff, and I'm going to be like, "What the fuck?" Happened? <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. But see, I think these are all pretty memorable. Huh? Um, I think you, you'll get them. The next one, for example, is Jeremy Mennett. Oh, oh my this was, he was a legend, though, yeah. man. But a legend in the darkest times. Ah, uh, yes, that's a pity. Uh, uh-huh. She, he, he was top shit to yeah. Mennett. <laughs> And that was amazing. He was a waste. He was hottest. Yeah. That goal, I can't remember exactly against who Parma, it was. Parma. Yeah. Yeah. Lala, when he ran around the fucking post, what did he do? He, he, he knocked, he the, knocked ball it around around the keeper. the keeper and back heeled it into the back of over the, the keeper. Like he back bounced it chip. off the ground and yeah. it went over the keeper. Yeah, but he had to run. He had to run somewhere. He, he had to run past the whole post. Uh-huh. It was it was a long ball. Exactly. And exactly, he, exactly. he got it before the keeper. Knocked it past him. Ran beyond the post. And the keeper was going in scrambling onto the exactly. ground and, and he, he shipped it over he, healed, he back healed it onto the fucking ground mm. and made mm. it made it made it jip okay. that was amazing yeah, yeah. for me man has even just Gen- joined Menes Milan stopped. he was at PSG before PSG even had that, that I think it was at the beginning of their financial game yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he decided to join Milan during the darkest hours to me man this is a god for that reason for deciding to yeah, join legend, Milan legend legend yeah, never Menes. pass never mm. pass the ball <laughs> fuck so it who are through. you gonna pass it to bro who the hell are you gonna pass it to very true <laughs> fair enough the next one Mario Balotelli Wow, we could do. I loved him. Most. Yeah, it's a really pity. I'm really, I'm really disappointed that he didn't, he didn't like get, he didn't like put his shit together with mm. us. So she was, he's a Milanist as well, mm. no Moratelli. Mm. Yeah, the Milan kit when he was with Inter. Yeah, so that for yeah. us yeah. too, amazing <laughs> shit too. And he scored some ridiculous goals. Well, there that was, was like that volley key, from the yeah, outside. For the one from the significant Bologna. distance. Bologna. 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 That Bologna. Bro was Incredible. Ridiculous. No celebration. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's, I, I, used, I used to love him. I wish, I wish he stayed. No, he's in. He's in Antigua. He's, he's in, in Turkey. 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 Antalya Fire sport. Room, you know, something uh-huh, like that. Something yes. like that. Uh-huh, one of those. He was doing really well. Uh, in Nice, so he was in France. In, in Nice, France, but even in Turkey, he was doing really well. He had a goal. Yeah, that, that was goal for Puskas. Uh-huh. I mean, he had 19 step overs or whatever it was, and, and then he ran <laughs> to the back of the net. That is <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he doesn't give a fuck. He's, he's exactly. amazing. Baratelli, I used to love. I used to love him. If, if only he could keep his fucking attitude in check, mm. man, he would have been. My least favorite moment for sure about Baratelli was when he missed his first penalty ever. It was with Milan against Odinese. Mm-hmm. I bought someone over. You were filming. I remember saying he funny. never misses. And this guy was going, <laughs> no, no. he's gonna miss. Uh, he's gonna miss. Yeah. And lo and behold, you can Allah count the pixels it. in that video. It's like our lost YouTube upload. Balotelli, uh, <laughs> fucking legend, though. Gabriel Palletta. Poiletta with the fucking come over. Yeah. Yeah. And why did he have a come over? Because he had fucking. He only had hair on this side yeah. of his head. So I was like, bring it over. Poiletta, yeah. Ow. He wasn't that he wasn't horrible, that. Eh? He was an animal. He was an animal. Considering the rubbish Milan had at the mm. time, before us, for me to finish the game and say, "Wow, Paletta did mm. really well. Mm. He's the man of the match." Uh-huh. The moment you that stands out. Figure out the state Milan were in last year. What yes. moment? This at the moment. The the three 0 lost to Genoa. All spearheaded by Paletta's impulsive decision to <laughs> two foot kung fu kick a player on the ball. Completely missed the ball. Nowhere near the ball. It's the man immediate red card literally and then uh, Milan are a man down against exactly. Germany they lose three no. it was like you know the Boris Johnson tackle you ever saw yeah. the Boris <laughs> yes it's exactly. yeah. 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 literally like that but it is stunts man it's yeah. crazy Paletta, it's talking crazy. about double footed tackles Flamini was a god at that shit uh. Flamini is incredibly rich yes. nowadays he has, like an or, he has an organic uh-huh. renewable energy company exactly. or something of the sort exactly. billions uh-huh. and he he had great industry yeah? both at Arsenal and both at Milan yeah. he was a hard work I didn't mind he was working yeah. from in New York yeah, yeah. Mathieu Mathieu Fleming okay, where was he left back no or so uh, uh, centre mid centre mid, center uh, mid. Uh-huh. Adele Tarap Tarap Phil too Phil snuff the most the most Brazilian, non-Brazilian player yes, I've yes, ever yes. seen in my life. He's Algerian, what is he? Algerian, Algerian, I believe. Mm-hmm. Moroccan, don't, don't Moroccan, 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 Algerian. Moroccan, Moroccan. They're, se- they're separated by a desert, those two. Yeah. Um, but you, you watch clips of him and you could see people's reactions, his Moroccan. teammates' reactions. Moroccan. Moroccan, Moroccan. You could see his teammates' reactions to how he dribbles past a player. He, was he us, does yeah. things. His, his legs are like elastic in the way that he moves them, knocks the ball there pulls it back, step over, then puts it through your legs. And you see his teammates are just like, 
Yeah, what the fuck was that? Was I, I remember so. seeing him with QPR and saying, mm. "Wow, he's gonna be fucking yeah, yeah. magical, this guy." But I think he had he had little team team. I think it was more of a showboat than mm-hmm. anything uh-huh. else. Was, uh-huh. yeah. Like a freestyler kind but of thing. She was fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. Ooh, he said top. that after Milan, the fact that Milan didn't renew him was pretty much the, the end of his career for him. Because uh, he took yeah. it really badly. Because he felt like he was in the form of his life, playing at the highest level. Beforehand, he had done it in the championship, granted, but he had never done it at such a high level, you know, scoring solo goals against Napoli, for example. And, yeah, all this. Yeah, yeah. and apparently, yeah, um, he took it really badly, and his career was never the same. After. We fucked him up, basically. Uh-huh. Fucked him it up was strange. How it was weird how we didn't redeem him. I remember, yes. I remember uh, during the banter era, there was him, and uh, at a point, it was Gerard Delafeu. I couldn't believe I couldn't Amazing. believe Another we didn't fucking renew him I couldn't believe it we hadn't had a good but he was on loan from Barca player. no? yes he was the uh-huh. same but thing with Brahim Diaz but we had a clause option I, I believe we had an option to buy him and it was I, I, I think know. it was a bit too expensive for mm-hmm. Milan at yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I remember Contrary to the amazing. problem Milan had over the past five years, which is no right-sided good players, Milan had the opposite problem. On the right there was Suzo, and on the left there was no one. And yeah. Belafeu was the first one that had come in on the left. Very true. Like, he is worthy. That's true. But unfortunately, the Spanish teams, Allah, they're the capitalistic scum. Ah, very, very, very. And apparently, um, as well with Tarapt, um, the first manager who had taken him to QPR, I don't know who it was, was it Warnock? I can't remember. Or Harry Redknapp. Harry Redknapp, yeah, I, I think, think so. I he think had so, no. scouted him in a game where he was like doing these crazy dribbles in his own half, like, but then he'd lose the ball and the other team would score. Mm. And the manager of it was Redknapp, I don't know, he asked the guy, like, who the hell is that? He's like, don't even touch that guy. He will cost you so many games. Like uh, he's like, no, no, I want him. We're gonna play him farther up. Like we don't want him in our half ever. Mm. He can do whatever he wants. If he loses the game, if he loses the ball in the first game, uh, the goal, I'll keep playing him. I'll keep playing him. I'll keep playing him. And eventually, he got them promoted. Uh-huh. But then apparently, he went to the players. And he told him, if you pass to turn up an hour half, you will get a fifty pound fine. Oh, yes. 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 He said it in an interview. So like, don't give him the fucking ball and a half. Because you are going to get fined. Because that fucker shouldn't play with the ball and a half. I think, I think but it, up front, it, he'll, he'll, do, he'll do wonders. I think it might have been Warnock. I think you might be it right. Might it's sure. someone who Warnock looks like Red Redknapp. Knapp. I don't uh-huh. think it's uh-huh. Red uh-huh. They're definitely red in the face. They're the, 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 yeah. the two <laughs> outspoken fucking yeah. English managers. Oh. Kevin... Constant. Ooh, the selfie. You don't remember? Fucking hell, I did. Yes, was the left bro. Back. Yes. Man, man, I recently had I saw a photo of him. Like he was, he was really weird. <laughs> listen, yeah, probably listen. What Jake posted on our stories recently. You, a shirt you without a home. t-shirt. <laughs> Trust <Trust-y>, me, this one. <laughs> This one I saw for he went this photo went viral recently. Went viral, <laughs> Kevin Constant, Ostia. Constantly shit. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, uh, there was no one else better than him. It was versatile. The time. Like, him and Irby. Him and Irby Emanuelson were quite. Emanuelson was great. I liked Emanuelson. Great. Uh, compared to what towards the last two years, it was. was a disaster. Yeah. But but Emanuelson. He was. He was. Where they were playing three at the back with a wing back, or they were playing four at the back with a left back. Yeah, he started they were playing him plugged in many holes. He was he a plugged yeah, many so, holes. And the Manuelson was in the like in 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 the, in the last of the Allegri years. Now there was uh-huh, it's been uh-huh. it's been Nocerino. Yes, and there yes, was yes, Manuelson. I love Nocerino. I used to love him, Madonna. A eh, bit I of used both. To uh, adore uh, Nocerino. He was yeah, one of those that was that elevated. Mm. Yes, he agreed. had a hat trick in one of those games, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, him and Boateng have two of the most iconic hat tricks in Milan history. Of Lecce, Boateng. Boateng, Boateng against Lecce, then Yepes got the winner, bro. Mario Yepes. Yepes is a Mario Yepes, as a lunge, my pinjo. What a beautiful <laughs> fucking human being. <laughs> oh, in Colombia, he's adored, huh? Of course, Yepes. Who, but what was he before Milan? Was he yeah, Botafogo or something like that? No, I was Italy. in Italy, man. Uh huh. I think Chievo. Chievo? Ah, maybe. Let's go over it quickly. In the meantime, I, I will leave you Ostia. with Juraj Kuczka. Kuczka, Ostia. He looks like a bouncer at a club, Ostia. <laughs> <laughs> He's another oh, one, Ostia. Yeah. They, they, they're fucking rubbish, but they have these... They, 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 all right, Ostia. Mm. He have potential. He's going to do things. 
mm. but he did fucking nothing. Aha, aha. Tiska. What was your impression, Jack? Yes, um, totally Kievo. Kievo? Nice. 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 See, yeah, you're not going to know these guys. Kuska, Stiawatir. K, U, C, K, A. Aha, yes. Aha. Serbian. I think he's... Um, Slovakia. He's Slovakia, aha, something, something like, that. like that. Something. I remember he had a very direct, like, powerful shot, mm. but you'd never know where it's going. Uh-huh. Like, it's just a, an, an, a bow and arrow, but it, he could send it to the stands. Or he could I enjoyed him as a player at the time. I liked him, bro. Mm. I liked him. Ball, yeah. just, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, he never did anything fun. Fantastic! No, there, no. there really Bateria, are no Mary. No, I, I think he was in the yeah. Super Coppa squad though with Montella. Mm. He won. He beat um, Juventus in the Super. Montella was the first shine. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, yeah, with La Padula up front. I remember. He bro. was. He was a fucking that guy who got La Padula. What? What? Say he beat top scorer. Exactly. Say mm. Everyone was saying he's going to be the next big thing. Mm. Fu- Trash. It was a character in my. Him, I remember my, one of my favorite strikers. So, firstly, one of my favorite players in Milan history is Pato. I think Pato yes. was, was unbelievable. At his prime, um, insane. And, mm. and, and, and it's almost part of the reason I romanticize him is that he never fucking got the Ballon d'Or. He never got to that next level. It's almost like that movie that you always, you've been waiting for the sequel, but it never came. I kind of like that mystery mm. of how mm. good could he mm. have been. Um, but to me, one of my favorite strikers in Milan history was Marco Borriello, bro. Borriello, 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 Borriello He bro. would score only. Borriello. He would hardly ever score, but when he did, it was like half volleys, half volleys only. And I remember, I really Borriello fucking liked the player. player that was with Roma, and then he had gone to Juve, Mirko Vucinic. Yeah. Vucinic. He was a fucking player, Madonna. Vucinic pasta. He was like the the Eastern European Van Persie. <laughs> I found man. <laughs> Vucic was amazing. Also another one I enjoyed a lot, Pazzini. Yes, Pazzini. Pazzini. with Mal, but that was rubbish, in Mal. He scored a few, huh? He scored. There was one he had pu- he had pulled up injured and he still scored, mm. and then he was limping away in celebration. Uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, back then it was like it was purely vibes. No mm. one was at. We, we were f- so far away from being a team that could compete. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. just enjoy the characters. The lack almost. of expectation was almost enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, it's so so I'm waiting. Huntelar there was. Class Jan Huntelar. Ah, but well, the, 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 he, he does know. nothing, and then he scored that that like volley from outside the box ah, and got against who it was just out ah, of nowhere in la la class mm-hmm. what are you doing yeah. <laughs> and I didn't see about with seven eight games it's just nowhere to be seen literally I became a Milan fan during the banter era I was a Real Madrid fan I, was, yeah, right. I remember I was in Scotland and I had stopped watching Real Madrid because I was working uh-huh. 60-70 hours a week um, and then when I got back and I hadn't seen Jake for a year so we started watching Milan together during the banter era and I fucking enjoyed the suffering man and I fucking enjoyed the drive <laughs> there was no suffering chance, yeah he had yeah. no chance to, to not become a Milan fan no. because I would always you brainwash the arguments like oh we're we gonna watch Real or Milan it was always Milan on the TV mm-hmm. always since and we were kids, since man, we were kids, yeah, and fucking, I think that comes had to be, it had to be. If you were the older brother, seven and nine older. years old, and, yeah. and and it would always be, no, let's watch Milan. Fuck it, let's watch Milan. Uh, no, uh, no, one thing, do you start Zopta cheering? Real no, Madrid. Uh, uh, you there? Were you there for the trophies? Uh, it's, it's, it's no. when you're a kid, it's fine. You like superheroes. You like Real Madrid. Yeah, it's exactly. When you're an adult man, fucking exactly, give me AC yeah. Milan, Banter era, give me the red and black strip. Agree, give me agree, punta. Agree, the next one is one of my personal favorites, huh? Philip Mexes. Mexes, topo. There's one moment that Allah, we can all agree on. The not one kick. The I mean, but kick. the not one. But that there were two, of two, two Puskas nominees. One against Anderlecht, one in a friendly against. I remember the Anderlecht. Inter Real Madrid, one of them. I think I can't remember. It was there was one was a complete a, a complete back volley. Yes, I guess that is and, and then there was one which was on the side. I think that was a side friendly volley. actually, but it was such a good I'm goal. Sure, I don't yeah. remember that. Max yeah. Salazo, yeah. boo, he yeah. was good. I used to love him. Yeah. With Roma, he was great as well. Yes, yes, yeah. Mal- 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 you was know good that around, he was yeah. the reason Roma had the transfer ban in two thousand and five. Really? Because they had brought him in from help me out, Oxer. And apparently there was some irregularity with his signing and Spalletti was forced to play Mexis eventually um, because they couldn't bring anyone else and they brought him in so he was was sorted, this guy. Um, Funnily enough, in 2011, this is the contrast in seasons between um, um, 
Milan 2011 and Milan 2012. Nestan Thiago Silva with Mexes third choice in 2011. In 2012, the starters were Mexes and Zapata. <laughs> <laughs> Zapata was good too before but he joined us. Inconsistent. He was good with Udinese, that's true. Mm. He was good too, Zapata. He was, he was solid. And then with us a bit rubbish, oh yes. Mm. Colom- that- Colombia, no call. Oh, uh-huh. 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 Scored that goal against Inter. In the last minute one. Ah, the last yes. second one at the it. death. It was incredible. I remember it. Uh-huh. Uh, Mexes is a player I, I always enjoyed as well. Mm. There was a time when Bonera was the best player Milan had. Uh, he, had he had a season yeah. where he was unplayable. Ah, <laughs> Madonna. <laughs> when he, when he became Lord, Lord Bonera. Lord. You remember the old Lord <laughs> Bonera? <laughs> oh, Bonera? I used to love him, yeah. Bonera. I remember Abiati had one season. He was like 37 years old. Abba, he was just... No, Abiati, Abiati, the keeper, bro. Yeah. Where he was always a bit of a meme, like from Dida, we went to Abiati, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was one season when he was like 37, where he was unbelievable, yeah. bro. Yeah. Abate, I remember, bro. Abate, we used to love him because FIFA 94 pace. He was yeah, that guy yeah, up yeah, and yeah. down, Primavera. We used to love Abate. And then once my dad, they were watching a game with my dad, my dad goes, Who's this fucking blonde right back? Like, Abate, he's really good. He's like, He's not good, bro. He's fucking shit. I'm yeah. like, no, bro. Abate is literally... He's amazing. He's like, he's fucking shit. From then on, Abate never, never had ever, another ever had another I good swear game. To God. <laughs> ever, I swear to God. Ever. My dad fucked Jinxed Abate him. up totally. And to tell you... The, the, I, see, the, I hate your dad. I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> he's a bastard. The first exchange was... Minute 23. <laughs> <laughs> minute 23, <laughs> yeah. Abate... My job, my job, my job, my job, my job, like a fucking five year old trying to block you. No, 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 Absolutely, yes. carried yes. Milan yes. for six yes. years. Seven you years. know, if you remember Jack. correctly, let me jog your memory a little bit. He only joined because the Biabiani deal fell through. Oh, Biabiani! Biabiani had posed with the Milan scarf looking at Parma. Really cute. Parma yes. to yes. Inter. Yes. Inter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Biabiani, biggest flop yes. in yeah. Inter transfer, one of the biggest flops yes. in Inter. Yes, Inter left wing, right wing, right wing. Right wing. Right wing. 96 pace on FIFA. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking like a real casual yeah. over here. Yeah. 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 Out the pace, like my 96. Yeah, the four star week for yeah. yeah. <laughs> FIFA 97. Uh, you're you're yeah. literally an esports Seven. commentator. Yes, yes, yes. Be a pioneer. 7 yeah. million euros uh, for Jack the Quarry, man. That's a great former bit Atalanta, of business. Man. And Atalanta then that, um, that devastating picture at the end where he's in the middle of San Siro, it's empty and he's crying mm. on the pitch. And now the thing that he's doing actually pretty decently at Fiorentina, sure, he got his well, national team great. call up and he's scored against more the fucker. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sure to, uh, <laughs> No, we would have won that game if it didn't yeah. score. <laughs> So we got Bonaventura for 7 million and we got Andrea Bertolacci for 21. <laughs> <laughs> that that, 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 that to me was the lowest point. Yes, that to me yes, was the yes, point. yes. The Bertolacci. It's like, okay, we have money to invest. Yes, we're getting Bertolacci for 20 million. That's when you think, what's Galliani doing? Nah. Il Condor, Ga- what's he doing? But Galliani, there was a long period of time where I'm like, this week he'll die, Galliani. Let's hope you so. Look at the, you like Star Wars? Please, please. Ah, it's Darth Sidious, bro. Darth Sidious. Like, Galliani was yeah. Hazinos, yeah. And that, that Bertolacci was rubbish. Incredible. Yeah. Rubbish. That rubbish. season there were two really horrible signings. There was Bertolacci and there was someone else. But Bertolacci was just fucking mm. hopeless oh, man yeah. from beginning to end it's highly I was wrong I was pretty decent and my uh, Madonna uh, man with us nothing not even, not even 21 million is one of the highest amounts at Milan the time, ever spent at the time, on a football it was now, massive if we spent 40 million on Zerx it would be a record breaking transfer mm. man it's Milan haven't spent a la tens of millions on footballers yeah. 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 fuck my life six was, goals yeah. in eight games yeah. no no sorry six goals and eight assists with Genoa the season before, we splashed mm. 21 million on the Maldives. Bertolacci. Bertolacci. Uh, Bertolacci. Uh, Can you imagine? The, my, my biggest. Listen, Milan and Genoa, they like to stay yes, sucking that's each that's other's Pio- dicks. Pio- yes, yeah. we, we were 69 for Piontek, I remember. Mm. Piontek was fucking rubbish. Pio- Piontek. Yeah. 
for five games, I believed in Liverpool. We found him. Yes, we, agreed. We, we, we found agreed. him. We have a striker for 10 years. Exactly. exactly. Agreed, agreed, agreed. And then it was just like, like, Koulibaly looks like, like an amateur. It's like, and it's done. Like, it, it, that, that, that's it. I turned Koulibaly inside out, and now that's it. Piontek no, started out really well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. The big, he, he is, Piontek, the best way I can describe him, is a semi. He's a semi erection. That's like. true. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's never a full fucking. You know. Yeah, I think he was kind of your first fuck. I, sh- he I did, don't hate that. I don't. He hate did. That. He did come. It. He did make you come mm. real quick, um, mm. but forget it, eh? I don't hate that. I like that. Aha. Uh-huh. Piontek was the first fuck. <laughs> the first one. I just came and just yeah. He said, "Lala, we have faith uh-huh. in this guy. Yeah, this uh-huh. bitch is gonna take me all the way." For <laughs> exactly. A long time. exactly. You know, you try your say, second position. Then you stay messaging work and she doesn't uh-huh. fucking reply. Uh-huh. Hey, what's happening here? Uh-huh. And then she's with an older dude. Yeah. Okay, so whatever. What, 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 what can you do? What can with you do? a cucumber. Exactly. <laughs> Just you're not gonna get you're any relief. Back. You can't compete. You okay. won't get any relief. Uh-huh. So. Absolutely. Piontek is your first fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando Torres. Yeah. Nothing. No, 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 nothing. I, nothing. I wasn't when when the news came out that Milan were signing Torres. I think I told you this. You, yes, yes, you were yes. showing me videos. I was in my room watching videos, and you came and you're like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm watching Torres videos, bro. I'm so gas. This guy can fucking come back to life with us." And you're like, "Bro, you're like, you know how it's been." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, Torres, this is Torres, different." You're like, Torres. "You know how it's been." And then it, I watched them, and yes, it, you were watching consistent. videos of him in the second season yeah. at Liverpool. <laughs> it was incredible. He was a on par with Suarez back then. He was like. incredible. Now he's a jack nowadays, and uh-huh. so is Mesut Ozil. Yes, way, fun fact. Yes, yes. yes. They both are all fucking huge. Mm-hmm. Yours, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. To Torres think that now. during their professional career they were holding back. That's crazy. Mm. Matri. Matri. Matri, he always gave me a false sense of security because at Juve, I remember Matri was the shit for two seasons. Everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. adored Matri. But he was with us. Before. He was. Um, after, I think. I'm quite sure it was after. After Juve, I think. Let me confirm that. <laughs> Let's do two more. We've got Keisuke Honda, who was at Milan between 2014 and 2017, and I don't think played as a 10 a single time. Mm. He was on the wing. The, the right, right wing. Time, oh, yeah. right wing. He was he was he was like a wet dreamy. So it's like you you when it comes on, you start saying, "Yeah, la, la shit's gonna happen now," mm. and just it just never did. Uh-huh. Just, yeah, it's never. like one of those international signings, no? Kind of like a, a, a non-effective policy when you just sign someone that is the best market. within a region. Yeah, yeah, market. but he was ridiculously good. You think with they, Japan? You think, you think they did it financially to get with the like agents? I think it was sure the part. Of it. Aha, I think I think his marketability was a massive part of you it. You think they did Milan team do this? <laughs> I, I, I would hope so. It's Milan it's team be... noodles or like ah, sushi? Probably, I'm sure they did a night. Ke sushi Honda! <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, ke sushi Honda. I remember he did nothing during his entire stay at Milan. As his contract was running out, he scored an incredible free kick. Yes. I think on his last game. Ah. Mm. Classic. Mm-hmm. Classic Milan. Nigel De Jong. To me, Nigel De Jong. Topo. Ni- Nigel De Jong and we mentioned him earlier, Van Bommel, were those two that entered the team towards the latter stages of their career. But to me, it's like they've been there forever. Yeah. Just they they give you the professionals that give you one hundred percent. De Jong, he had replied to your tweet once, man. man. Really? Man. I have a soft spot for him. Also. He's a good guy. I have a soft too. spot for De Jong. He, they were a crasher. He was a crasher. Yeah, oh, was a killer. Killer. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Twenty ten. Like in the, in the Twenty ten World Cup final. If it were any other occasion he would have been sent off in the opening four minutes the kick Carrati, the, the, kick Shabby Alonso, Shabby Alonso Shabby Alonso on the chest it was really cool when he did the karate kick and then he just whoop he yeah. decided <laughs> yeah. to top it himself yeah. over as well yeah. Yeah. it was really like, obvious like aha uh-huh. it was a 50-50 it was a 50-50 it was really good it was like a Bruce Lee fucking movie right? Nigel it yeah. was good and I've got, I've got he was at City. He yes. was at City. He was at before, City. Uh, City. Uh, City. Uh, City. Yes, uh, I, I believe so. so. I believe he, so. Um, he was at City before the whole financial takeover. I believe. Uh, yes, or in the that. early stages. I think at the early stages, the City's first big signing was Robinho. Uh, I remember. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Before. And Robinho thought he was going to Manchester United. Mella. It's this whole Mella. thing. He thought he was oh, going well, to Manchester yeah. United. He's like, why are they giving me a blue kit? And they're like, he, he's um, dumb. And no. he's I mean, he's a, he's a dumb rapist. Robinho. Yeah, and then we've got Michael Essien, who the only positive memory I have is his, his face after he got sent off that one time. Do you remember? He was so shocked. He was like, 
Like, no, like, I don't know what. It wasn't Juve. No, it wasn't against Juve. Essien, Milan, I can't remember. funny. That's how I Google. <laughs> <laughs> it was rubbish yeah, as well. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't ah, believe it. Honda as well. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't believe it. He like, has no idea what he's done wrong. With Chelsea, I think he was like the best, one with of the Chelsea. best holding midfielders in the game yes, at the time. Bro. When Chelsea Insane. won the Champions League, he was their guy in the midfield. Just like you're saying, N'Golo Kante a couple of years later. Insane, like, no. And Mourinho refers to him as his favorite, like one of his favorite players he's ever coached. He took him to Real Madrid and then, like, Man, he, he took him to Africa to meet his family. Like, what? Wow. Mourinho went to Africa. Shall we go on to the next part? Let's. Let's. Okay. Yeah, the roasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I, like, uh, as you know, bring it. The, the end of your podcast, ah. you do this thing on Bite to Bacon where you start roasting guests. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake and I would be watching and we can't help but feel a bit sorry for your <laughs> guests. Like, if <laughs> only they can get a fucking taste of what they're giving right now. So we're here to avenge them. Yes. Okay. So basically, these are, these are like the questions that don't, don't need answering. So yes. to speak, exactly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Rhetorical <laughs> questions. Yeah, ah, all right, all right. Do you want to start, bro? Sure, I'll start. Um, Max, you went viral on TikTok for calling Xbox gamers gay and highlighting PlayStation players as masculine and cool. Yeah. So tell us, when did you start playing Xbox? <laughs> <laughs> I never said or insinuated anything about them being gay. Oh yeah, but they were, you were putting something in your ass and going. <laughs> the anus has no no sexual orientation. Yes, that's true. The prostate lives within all of us. If you like to put stuff up your ass, it's totally fine. Absolutely. And considering right. by how this mic smells, I'm assuming. <laughs> He bites back. He bites, bites back. back. bites back. If any of you have tried ass stuff for the first time after <laughs> listening to this podcast, hit us yeah, up. Yeah. Tell, us how, yeah, tell us how it went. Tell us how it went. Um, Max, you have collaborated with local talent Johnny. I have no idea what the second name is. Um, where you spotlighted a song he wrote about the boobs of an attractive fitness influencer, Denise. Yes. Right? Um, did you genuinely find his song funny? And if so, how old were you where when your mom dropped you on your head? <laughs> <laughs> I think she did drop me on my head. It's, it's, very, it's a very plausible question, to be honest. <laughs> that song goes on for a while. It, goes on it, it was a long one, it's true. It was a full-on full song that he wrote this through. But it was, it's, it's a good one. You need to steal some minutes here and there, you know? And it's clapped. Johnny at someone still. else's expense <laughs> <laughs> as we mentioned earlier you formed part of a metal band called Abyssmal Torment um, when you decided to name the band why did you decide to name it after the words that women describe you in bed <laughs> <laughs> but precisely that I, I said fuck I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to get with any women for the next 10 15 years of my life I went through the metal phase long hair and everything so we have to, have to stick the part. I mean, when, when we do something, the boss are lost. We <laughs> fucking stick well. it through, you know? Fucking I ain't right. fucking for a long time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was the mission objective. This is the last one. Max, you have three main passions in life. Grilled sandwiches, esports, and heavy metal. How many ass pimples do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, my ass is really smooth. My bones, on the other hand, I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's just a hard-working individual. You, know, you, do, you do this, you do that. You have to have rough balls. Or it needs to be there. Then all the scratching and the chafing, it, it, it shit, shit happens. Exactly. Right? We're just kidding, of course, Max. You're at ten, ten pounds, <laughs> ten, ten cokes a day. Ten, ten what a day? The cokes. Cokes. <laughs> yeah. Ten lost, yeah. Ten Coca Cola. So ten, ten yes, 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 yes. Not yes. like Ashley. No. <laughs> <laughs> but this brings us, bro. We have a little gift for you. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Brother. What'd you do? Hey, that's the amazing. This is fucking tough, Bastia. You made me really pretty, dude. Thank you. See you guys. Beautiful shit. The resemblance is uncanny. It's not bad. Yeah, quite, it's quite, quite an on. easy face to quite draw. Quite you, couldn't, you couldn't continue it because it'll be too late to find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Very you good. Nice. Very very good. good. I, literally want, I literally want to frame this and put it up on my... On my on my wall somewhere. I'll right. re remove my daughter's face. <laughs> <laughs> I put my I put myself instead. 
brother that's the least we can do well, thank you so much for, for, for you coming. agreeing to and, to come on and to share this moment with us it's very special for us so oh, thank you brother life. that's the that's the least Brussels. we can do it's beautiful thank you for having me it's uh it was a pleasure i enjoyed it i haven't had a good football banter in a very long time and just yeah it's, it's really obvious you guys know what you're talking about so keep it up good shit thank you very much thank you brother. very much brother we've thank been seria spotlight guys sand max 26 24. right 24 <laughs> Malasta. If I'm Malasta, listen, I'm, eat, I'm, I'm eating a lot, so <laughs> I might evolve so to 26. Be, so a little before 48. It might be so, yes. But I will now we'll see. Sand Max 24, <laughs> check out this content, guys. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. Max, Thank you. This has been a pleasure. Same here. Thank Peace you. Out.